Hi there, this is Ryan from the Checkpoint Support Team. Today I'm going to be walking through how parameters work in your system and how they interact with the inventory of items. To see a master list of all your parameters, you can go to Manage, Setup, Configuration, and at the bottom of the list you'll see a list of the parameters. This is what's currently in the test system that I'm in. What you'll find is that you can actually build most setups with these five parameters. There's some alterations that you can make, uh, but for the most part, these are some of the great ones to start out with. The quantity parameter is what comes with the default in your system. Uh, a room's parameter is great for people that are controlling for accommodations. The guest parameter is a general way to control for inventory. You can see the settings of it here. You can see that it's mandatory. Right now, it's going to be controlling inventory. And it might not have a price point, but in this case, I'll include it. You can also set the settings of a parameter to be uh, include the price range. And also, you can set it to visibility. So right now, it's set to be visible for customers and staff. But I could also make it hidden or just staff only. The benefit of being more specific with the two parameters is you can have two different price points. So if you charge a different price for adults, you can use an adult's parameter. And you can also use on that same item, have a second parameter for children. And lastly, the inventory control parameter helps us do some advanced configurations, which we can get to later in a different video. If you go to the inventory control parameter, you can see that's controlling for inventory and it's hidden. So now I'll walk you through one of the items to, so you can see how parameters are consumed. If you go to inventory and items, you can see a master list of all your items. And then we'll go to category and tours. This is a tour category that I've made earlier. You can see the public bike tour that I've made for this example. This public bike tour is set up so that a large group can have multiple bookings. So you can have multiple bookings within one tour. The inventory for the tour is 10. So there's going to be a group of 10 different people going in on this tour. And you can see that there's an adults and children parameter that's controlling the inventory. So it'll be consuming the group capacity. So you can have multiple bookings sticking up. The reason why I chose two different parameters is because I have two different prices depending on who's coming. And finally, it's just set to be a day tour for now. On the pricing tab, you can see the settings that come through for the parameters so that I've set the price for this one to be $30 per adult. And then this one's set to be $15 per child. The way parameters show up in your system is if you can easily see them by just pressing save and then going to preview. And if we open up the booking, you can see adults and children are here. So those are those two parameters again. Because I have a maximum of 10 that are allowed, I can have any combination of, of 10. So I'll set this to 6, set this one to 6 again. It says that there's only 10 available. So if I bring it down to 4, I can then proceed with the booking. So I hope that clarifies a few things about parameters. Of course, if you have any other questions about parameters or any other parts of Checkpoint, please let us know at support at checkpoint.com, and our support team will be happy to help you. I'll talk to you soon, and have a great day. Bye.